Couldn't have said it better myself, Chris. Anyways, welcome everybody to Let's Play. Uh, standard mode. Resident Evil. Yeah, that one. So, I have decided to go back into the world of Resident Evil. <laughs> we already finished Resident Evil 4, which I said I gave an 8 out of 10 on. It was pretty good. It, to be honest, though, hasn't really dated well when it comes to the gameplay, the aiming mechanics specifically. We also did both Resident Evil Outbreak 1 and 2. Um, I still prefer the first one over the second one. And now we're going to continue down our line by playing Resident Evil, where it all began. And we are going to be doing two playthroughs of this, because we got two characters, see? We got Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. I figured we'd save Jill for last, because that's where all the memes are going to come from. So let's play as Chris. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. I don't know what happened. Barry, 
Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. All right. Now, as you can tell from that beautiful cutscene, it this is going to be an interesting experience. Also, I'm a little disappointed. The uh, the music is uh, it's lacking in this one. Not gonna lie. Uh, no, we will not take the emblem. I just wanted to look at it because I'm Chris Redfield. Oh no! He's Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team! Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Uh, I think you mean to say he's fucking dead. Alright, we got a clip. Let's escape the zombie's wrath. I know Kenneth might have another uh, clip on him, but uh, I don't want to risk it right now because I am not good at knife combat. At all. I would much prefer to have a firearm. Wesker? Jill? What happened to Jill and Wesker? Oh no! Jill! She's been turned into a gun! Wait, no. No, no, that's just her Beretta. Alright. But knowing Chris, he would be dumb enough to actually come to that conclusion. Alright, so let's go back to that zombie. Destroy him outright and claim ourselves that second clip. Do 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 running back. It's all part of the Resident Evil cycle. Well, maybe I don't have to kill him. Oh, wait, yes I do. Okay, you wanna be a faker, huh? Well. In that case, I don't want to play with you anymore. Goodbye. I do believe we want to go upstairs. Yes, that's starting to sound. Oh, before we do, wonder what happens if we open this door. Oh my god! I think the most offensive thing about that was the fact that it clipped through the door. Alright, I do believe we want to go through these set of doors. Yes. We got zombie. We got another zombie. Alright, let's see if I can't pull this trick off. Good. Time to retreat and break out the gun because he ruined everything. Yeah, right. You're so dead. Uh huh. Mm. Ah, damn it. I got too cocky with the knife. And I got bit for my troubles. Alright, 
you're dead for reals. Good. They're both dead for realsies. So let's push this. Off the edge. One push closer to the edge, and it broke. There's door right here. Here we go. And we got more zombies. Great. Nothing would please me more than to annihilate the ever-loving shit out of you. But because I have a certain number of bullets, I would much prefer if you all just took a dive and let me through. Thank you. And through this door. Whoa! What is it? What? Oh! Oh no! Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you must be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha Team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo Team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. But it's strange. I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. You're a medic. What would you know about engineering? Well, regardless, we got the mansion key, but it's not just any mansion key. Oh, no, 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 my good friends. This is the sword key. Yes. All right, we're going to go put the knife away because I suck with a knife. And I'd much prefer never to darken its doorsteps again. I'll take these clips, though. Combine the eggs. Yes, good, 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 good. All right, Rebecca, I shall see you later. Well... What should I do now? If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? Hmm, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Very well, come with me. All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. I have to prepare something. Would you like to go ahead? Now, I do believe if we go back to Rebecca, she will... Oh, damn it. Offer us aid. Which doesn't sound like a bad thing right now. Rebecca, can you heal my wounds, please? I went down the wrong way and the zombie bit me. It hurt. I have to prepare something. Would you like to go ahead? Or she can just say, No, Chris, stop being stupid. And I'm like, oh... Sadly, Chris only knows how to deal with boulders. Yes, yes, yes. You... Oh, there's a zombie over there. Not good. Nope. I'm gonna reset the room. Because screw you! I'm not being jumped today. I'll reset you all. Mwahaha. I'll be cheap. I don't care. And that should take care of you. Yeah, we need to be careful when they take the dive. Because when they enter the dive animation, it actually eats one of your bullets. 
there's no reload button. So, boop. Oops. There we go. Oh, he's actually dead. Good. We use the sword key. Good, very good indeed. And it's another clip. Don't mind if I do. Well, I guess we do have a first aid spray, so we should be okay when it comes to healing. Journal. Not gonna lie, this jump scare was handled a lot better in here than it was in the remake. Ah, oh, crap. I instigated its invincibility drop. And now I'm shooting at walls! WALLS! Alright, that was a shotgun shell, so I'm not gonna worry- I'm not worried about them right now. The Keeper's Diary, May 9th. At night, we played poker with Scott the Guard, alias and Steve the Researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without the, any skin. They told me to feed them with live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit, and that looks like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder. Those researchers never rest, even at night. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying, and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They have been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them have escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on my way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? I heard a researcher who tried to escape the, from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy la at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh fell off. What the hell is happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy, Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy. Tasty. And that would be used in Resident Evil movies that didn't make any fucking sense. Well, then again, none of the Resident Evil movies made any fucking sense, now that I stop and think about it. And now that we unlock this door, we can proceed. No zombie threat. We used the sword key once again. And we made it to this room. A piano room. Sing us a song. You're the piano man, Chris. Sing us a song tonight. You can't use that here. No, I can. I, you will find that I quite can. A fine grand piano. Use it. Chris, unfortunately, can't read music. It's me, Chris. Is that you, Rebecca? Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play?
Wait, what is that? My interpretation is off a little. Chris, may I practice for a while? We can have her play, but I'm going to say no because it leads to a funny dialogue in my personal opinion. Let's go back and look for them at once. All right. Rebecca. I know, I know, but just a little longer. <laughs> that was always funny in my my opinion. Rebecca. <laughs> So Rebecca's gonna be playing the piano for a while. I'm actually thinking about grabbing this gem. Let's go grab it. Yes. There are other places to still use the, the sword key. I can talk properly today. But first, let's go put the gem where it belongs and claim the prize for doing so. That zombie is being very polite and not attacking us, unlike his brethren. Props to you, good sir. Props to you. Alright, in this room, we are going to give. It reads, some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. Actually, they have yellow eyes of burning death. With one goal in mind. To end you as quick as possible. Ah, yes, this is a very important item. Let's grab this. Yes, we'll take the wind crest. And with that, the statue will go back into place. Now let's go explore more of the mansion before we go talk to Rebecca! Or Rebecca. Okay, let's grab the small key. That is actually going to be very helpful for us. What is this? Spots of blood are here. I hope this isn't Chris's blood. Wait a minute. I'm Chris. Then whose blood is this? It's Forrest. Oh my god. God, he's been pecked to death by crows! And here they come! Oh, wait, he has something. He has a clip for me. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Now to get out of here before these crows decide to ponder if they're going to attack me. Well, we know whose blood that is now. I do believe we need to go downstairs for the rest of the sword key, if I'm not mistaken. Doot, 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 doot. Uh, this door. Well, through this door. My bad. Puzzle time, sort of. And then push it like this. Doot, doot. And we have the map of the first floor. Let's go. Push this. And let's go through here. He's not dead. He's just being a jerk about it. Ink ribbon? Uh, no, I'm good. I don't need it. Don't need it. I need it as much as a zombie bite in the ankle. The sword key has been used, and it has outlived its usefulness. It must be discarded. Let's go. Into the great beyond and into the unknown. I'll worry about it later, when I get another old key, but for now... 
jump scare. I see you. There we go. Now, I do believe we push it like this. Or not. Let's reset the room. Okay, so I think we gotta push it like this then. Or there's just nothing there and I'm just wasting your time. Jump scare! Bad dog. Okay, this one I do believe we push up. And I was right. It's this one. For ammo that I wasted. Good. Very good. Good job, me. Thank you, me. Now go through the door, me. Let's see. The bathtub is filled with muddy water. Will you unplug it? Yes. Sure, take your sweet time. Oh look, an old key. Don't mind if I do. I looked in the mirror. What did the mirror say? You're a boulder punching son of a bitch. Well, that was rude. Another creepy angle for absolutely no reason. Uh, we'll go there eventually, but not right now. Zombie! I knew it. You can't hide your deceptive nature from me. I am Chris Redfield. I am Chris the Dude Redfield, and don't you forget it. Ah, so you weren't dead. Clever. But not clever enough. We unlocked the door. Cool. Zombie! Uh-huh. Yeah, you're so dead. Now you are. I made an honest zombie out of you. And in here is the safe room. Neat! That's importante. So we'll put this away for now. And I do believe we'll put away one small key. Alright, we got zombies. Yep, do your fake drop. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't realize you were behind me. Yep, fake drop. Yeah, right. Like, I'm gonna fall for that. But you are dead for real. And I'm very low on ammo. Not good. Not good at all. It's locked. Armor. Alright, I know there's a zombie here. You can... You can... You saw him in the back there. It's like an episode of Blues Clues. Where is he? Help Steve find the zombie. He's dead, dead. Now, before we actually go further, I want to go through this area. I want to go through this door first before we try 
our luck against the zombies here. Get this book on botany. It's about herbs. Everybody got that? No? Well, tough. Nothing uncommon. Oh, cool. Thank you. Bye. Okay, how do I do this? Aha! I don't normally speed run, but when I do, I tend to do it first try. Alright, let's head back to the Tiger Hall, so that way we can go into a new room, and use the chemicals that we picked up. Use the chemi- Yes, I can use the chemicals here. The lid is open! Oh no! Some ne'er-do-well could do this! Leave the herbs alone, but for now, let's grab this key. Another mansion key! But it's just not any mansion key like the other one. It's the armor key! Ooh, now we can open up more doors! Yay, hooray! But before we go and open up more doors, we need to go and open up one door. One door that's just down the hall. And if we ever get hurt, we know where to find a full heal, because red and green mix equals full health. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Alright, with this we get... More ammo, yeah? Hold on, before we do that, before that... We need to grab the broken shotgun. That's gonna be important. The desk is locked. Yes, we'll use a small key here and we will get shotgun shells. As a matter of fact, I will pick those up with honor. We'll leave the handgun bullets here. We'll come back for them if we ever need to. I'm not too worried about 100% collecting all the items in the game. I'll leave them where they are and I'll either I'll either remember them or I'll forget them. Nature shall decide. Okay, we'll take a quick we'll take a quick detour here. I think it's just herbs. I don't think there's anything of real big importance. Yeah, it's just herbs and a dog. Ow. A mean dog at that. Two mean dogs will never come back here. I can vouch for that. But the reason I wanted to come here first is because of a weapon. The glorious shotgun. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Too bad we'll never find out. Alright, let's get out of here and start using the armor key more. In fact, there's an area where it will come of great use. This way. Whoop, come on now. Doop, doop, doop. 
The armor key has been used again. And I do believe the last two areas for the key is in this hallway over here. And then we can discard it and move on with our lives. And I'm going to clear you out. I use the armor key. Good. So this should be the last door. Oh, shit. There we go. No. Oh, right. There is one more spot. Though I'm not sure if it's of any actual use to me. But we'll go and investigate anyways, simply because I can. Alright, I think for this one we can equip the handgun. There we go. That's right, in the remake, this is a helmet door. But here, it's an armor door. So let's go through and see what it is. We got a clip. Don't mind if I do. Zombie. When will you learn that won't work on me? I'm Chris the Dude. And you're still alive. Not anymore. Through here, and I do believe it's just some herbs and stuff. Let's see. A crawling zombie. Uh, what's this? Ink ribbon? Mm, I could probably transfer that. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll transfer it to the safe house. Well, safe room, not house. And you, my friend, get to crawl for all eternity. Have fun with that. This should be locked by a small key. Yep. I don't have it. It's all good. Let's leave. Alright, not much left to do now, but before we go to Rebecca, there, let's take care of all the other small stuff. Which should be through this door. This way. Alright, we got a puzzle. Push the statues over the vents. Otherwise, if you go to push that button, poison gas will fill the room and you will die. The room is filling with poisonous gas, Qui-Gon says in Star Wars, the PlayStation 1 game. That was a trip and a half. And oddly enough, more entertaining than the movie. Ah, the sun crest. We need that. Unfortunately, our inventory space disagrees. So let's take a quick stop to the safe room, drop off some items, and we'll continue. And unfortunately, Chris decided to leave his fanny pack at the star's office, where Jill decided to bring hers, and that's why she has two more carrying spaces. Only logical conclusion. It's a zombie! Die, zombie. We'll go here first. Take a look. Take a look. It's in a book. No. Ah, the lighter. That's gonna be important. But before we take anything in this room, it's the other room we want to do first. Jacket? Yes! Ink ribbon. No, I'm good. 
It seems someone has searched here already. It appears to be a switch. Yes, let's push it. Damn, I am not remembering this game at all. This used to, this was a three inventory needed puzzle in the remake. God damn, I have been playing that way too long. But we got shotgun shells. Worth it. It was actually worth it. Okay, so let's go back to this room and grab the goodies here. I saw a red herb. I'm going to leave that alone. So, in case we are in danger, we'll come back. Anything down here before I grab the lighter? Ooh, yep, there is. Gimme, gimme, gimme shotgun shells. Let's go. Now grab the lighter. Surprised Chris doesn't start with a lighter, I think. Again, the freaking remake. I think in the remake, he starts with a lighter. Or is that zero and that's just Billy? But now with the lighter, we can go this way. And, in, and interact with the, uh, the fire pit here. Use. And we get a map. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, da. Take it. That red door is locked behind a helmet key. We don't have one yet. Let's go get the sun crest. Uh, let's actually, I have a better idea. Let's go to the safe room and drop off the handgun. All right, sun crest get. And now we'll go through the other door that we unlocked with the armor key and see what's up there. Excuse me, what's going on over here? Oh no! Richard from Bravo Team! Zinger. <laughs> Chris! You just found that one of your friends just died and it's like, ooh, clip! Yoink! Dude! You did the same to Kenneth! Oh, shit. Bullshit. That was... Alright, he didn't damage me, so I guess it's okay. I didn't like it. But it is what it is. Oh, no. The room is apparently too dark. I can't see a dang thing. If only I had a lighter. I'll wait. Force just runs out of here with with like a bunch of grenades on him going, What the fuck, Chris? If you know, you know. Is that it? Just to grab loot? Might as well. I might as well grab it. And I might as well grab the clip from Richard while I'm at uh, while I'm going there. And then I'll go put those away in the safe box. And then after that, we'll go. We'll finally go see Rebecca. All right, to the safe room after I raid you. What? No shock and suspense music this time. Thank you, and goodbye. Do, do. Now we want to pick this up. The emblem at long last. And now let's see if Rebecca magically learned how to perform historical music.
You like it? Oh, that was great. What is that? Good question. Let's go investigate. Ooh, it's a shield of gold. Don't mind if I do. Oh no, my greed has sealed my fate. Oh no, ah, what will I ever do? Ah, just give it the wooden one. Rebecca on the other side is just like losing her mind like Chris! Are you okay, Chris? Do you even have a react did Chris Okay Are you alright? Yes. Please don't touch my forearm like that. Could you imagine being a germaphobe during a zombie outbreak? Like that what that like that would have to suck. That would honestly be like one of the worst things you could do to someone like that. Anyways, put the gold emblem here. And now we have to solve a clock puzzle. No we don't, that's just in the remake. Yeah, the remake definitely added more puzzles. This one is very, very straightforward and simple. <laughs> Anyways, we got another match key. But not just any mansion key! Cause it's the shield key! Why is this one more unique than all the others? It only opens one door. Kinda makes you wonder why, but... Eh, I didn't make the game. So let's go use the shield key and make some... Poor life choices. Such as, let's piss off something that's infected with the virus and have it bite us. That sounds like a good idea. I mean, Chris has already been bitten and vomited on so far. And I think a dog, uh, scratched him? Yeah, a dog did scratch him on the back. I hope this is not Forrest's blood. The shield key has been used! Oh no! It's useless now. Through the door. Alright, it's time to get that crest. You can have it! You can have it! Okay, uh, maybe resetting the room actually would help us. Maybe I have to fight it. Ow. I've been poisoned. I am not doing good, but I do believe we chased him off. Okay, good. That's okay. We have a first aid spray. I'm not too worried about it. Just give me the damn crest. Alright, time to go. The serum must be there? 
Uh, I guess that makes sense if we found you with Richard for you to say that specifically. But I don't think there was ever a time when... Rebecca, damn it. Damn it. Just, just get the serum. It's got to be there, even though we are just addressing it now in this specific playthrough. Uh, which way might be faster? Uh, probably this way. I mean, there's three zombies up there, and I think that all they do is vomit. So I don't think I have to worry too much about damage from them. Does Rebecca even have a weapon? 15 bullets. Fantastic. Hey, Rebecca, what happened to that arsenal you get in zero? Shotgun. Bazooka. Just don't want to use those, huh? Ow. Ow. That's okay. Rebecca's built different. She'll live. Alright, the serum is in this room. Grab it. The serum. Yay. And now we go back the way we came, or should I go the other way? I think the other way will be faster. Oh yeah, much faster. Down the tiger hall. Through the music hall. Officially called that by me because of the piano. That's down the hall. The dining room. And we're back in the main hall already. Didn't want to risk the damage from the vomi zombies, so I decided to go this way instead. Up the stairs. Yes, Rebecca, take your time. It's not like anyone's dying from any poison or anything. Chris is already dead on the floor. Nah, we should be alright. And there's herbs here that we can use to heal ourselves, rather than waste a first aid spray. I want to save that for the biggest of emergencies. Chris, we're back! Are you dead? You better not be! Right? Yeah. What happened? You were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? Ah, uh, my head is killing me. I think you will be all right because I gave you a shot. But please be careful. You saved my life. I owe you one. You saved me, Rebecca. Thank you. All right, let's get those herbs, because in this game, there's no indication that you're in danger like I am right now. No holding of the hip, no slouched running, just simply standing there like, this is fine, everything is fine. But the good news, with everything said and done, we officially have everything we need, minus one more crest, which we will get on our way to the next area. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this, uh, batch, I guess, of Resident Evil. I shall see you all next time when we go and solve the crest puzzles. Goodbye, everyone!